Hello traders, the Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session on how to day trade any market. In today's session, we're going to be reviewing six trades that I took in around 15 minutes day trading the NQ. Now, my target is a thousand dollars a day. If you've got a larger target, of course, you can trade more contracts or go for uh, a greater return per contract each day. This is session 74. Now, I do need to pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. Stay on the simulator until you're consistently profitable and naturally get the right education. And of course, you can pause the recording here to read the disclaimer. So traders, uh, just a very quick advertisement. If you haven't already downloaded my ebook, The Truth About Day Trading, please click on the description link below. Uh, better still, become a member what I'm about to show you traders you can learn all of this and much more for only $197 make no mistake traders this is a $10,000 program as traders say my Google Drive or the members area is like a gold mine literally is and it includes all of my indicators uh, make sure you're also subscribed to my channel and if you do become a member uh, once again you can uh, click on the link below to become a member I'll also include eight live recorded live and recorded coaching sessions that is uh, I run both the live trading room and I run a coaching room so twice a week you can join me in uh, my live coaching room 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday and Wednesday evening where I'll be teaching you how to trade these setups and much much more how to create your trading plan which are the best setups for which trading uh, conditions etc how to identify a trend and much much more now uh, you can then after your first month if you wish you can subscribe to uh, keep attending for as little as $97 a month cancel at any time but when you first become a member uh, I give you a month uh, the first month is free complimentary eight sessions if you can't attend live it is they are recorded and then if you wish to continue after month one simply drop me an email and let me know you'd like to sign up to continue so you're not committing uh, early uh, um, at your first purchase if you like uh, once again traders these sessions are live <laughs> and unedited so uh, if I go a bit off track you'll have to forgive me let's now get into this now this is a game train changer for 98% of the population a thousand dollars a week five thousand a week changes lives now when it comes to day trading realistically how do we achieve this well there's a couple of ways well of course there's many ways but two main ways I'm going to show you today is you might be very conservative and choose to trade 10 contracts and target on the examples I'm going to be showing you today $100 a day or trade five lots as I do go for 200 a day and that's a thousand now as um, uh, you'll see the potential there is to go for a lot more now I'm an old dog okay I'm happy to get in get out get paid for the young guns watching uh, this video you might choose to go for $400 a day per contract now I trade the after hours market which is called the Globex session so during the Globex session the market's slower um, uh, I love it you have still got plenty of volume and so typically I'm going to be trading in my part of the world around 5 p.m. for around an hour or two I do allow two hours a day that is to prepare to review my charts and that sort of thing but realistically I'm pretty much wrapped up most days uh, with live trading anywhere from 10 minutes to 30 minutes generally so if you watched any, any of my previous videos you'll see that now in this particular case I undertook uh, six trades for five wins you know what um, like one of the trades I took was a silly trade and you'll see that I'll be really open with you uh, if I make a mistake or entered a trade um, I shouldn't have taken I'll tell you about it because it's also how you learn now we are going to go to the live charts in a moment now I've taken the script or, or the typeface off the charts when we get there 
but um, what you'll see here is I had a number of trend trades and uh, a counter trend trade a, a divergence trade which I'll show you and I had then what I call a reversal trade so that was all over and done with in uh, less than 15 minutes so unfortunately we have to pay commission so after commissions uh, it was 11 49 60 now I'll show you this when we get to the chart my anchor chart and we'll talk more about how I use anchor charts as well but, um, but very important when it comes to anchor charts we use those because we want to be trading in the direction of the higher time frame now what I've done is just slightly expanded these now the L doesn't stand for loss it means long uh, long uh, I went short I went long and long which was a mistake and then I went short again so generally speaking I really want to know what's happening on the higher time frame now let's just quickly talk about realistic profit targets when it comes to trading you see if you've got a compelling future that is uh, if you've got a big enough why the how will appear I'm going to be showing you today how to do this okay but you've got to have the why now if you start off with three and a half thousand and I'll show you how you do it if you don't have three and a half thousand also my target there is two hundred dollars a day now typically I'd love to be over and done with within four scalps but that'll vary between three trades and some and, and sometimes ten trades it really depends on the trading conditions but what this comes down to is this is a realistic plan of two hundred dollars a day net after commissions and compounding that now how this table works it's not until I've doubled my money I'm up to three and a half thousand do I start trading two contracts once I've got another three and a half thousand dollars I'll start trading another so you've got the true potential there within 11 weeks of potentially and I legally I've got to say potentially of earning your ten thousand dollars a week and you've increased your capital from three and a half thousand up to forty four thousand in that time and you can see the true potential as we continue to go down now it's quite not quite that easy because as you build your account and I'm working on a 2% risk here you want to lower your risk so if you were say trading during the New York session the after hour session realistically um, you're not going to be trading 100 lots up to 20 no problem but once you get in uh, to these big figures here you want to be trading during the New York hours but certainly you also don't want to be risking 2% per trade okay that's just uh, ridiculous you want to drop that down because you're effectively your own funds manager but if you don't have the three and a half thousand dollars you start with the micro you a micro contract is 10% of the value of the large contract okay so you need three hundred and fifty dollars and rather than going for two hundred a day we're going for twenty dollars a day and the whole concept here is that we build our account to up to over three and a half thousand when then we switch from trading the micro over to the big contract now traders time's going to pass anyway and unfortunately a lot of traders will cut corners and they'll say well look it's only 350 I'll break the rules I'll risk five percent and they wonder why they never well actually no they probably don't even wonder um, but they just never get there whether you're trading a micro contract or a large uh, contract you've got to treat it exactly the same trading is a business now the bottom line is this if you start with the micro and even if you have three and a half thousand dollars it's a great spot to start earn your stripes in four or five weeks after you've mastered the setups on the simulator you can go to the uh, micro cut your teeth on trading a real account with a micro then go across to the big contract or you start here you start with a small account uh, you you go for your twenty dollars a day you build your account and now you roll that over into a big contract well, I want to say roll it over it's all done uh, on your um, super dom so you just do it automatically you just change it rather than trading a micro you're trading a big contract now here within 11 weeks you've got the potential income of 10,000 how long is that taking you 
22 weeks in live trading how long will it take you before you actually start trading a live account well that varies on how quickly you can pick up the setups the, the setups are fairly mechanical but when I say fairly mechanical they're they're, they're really 90% mechanical there's some things that we need to do such as identify a trend etc and I'm going to show you this in today's video I want to keep it under 30 minutes and we're 10 minutes in so I'm going as quick as I can but it's important that I show you this because as you're going to see this isn't rocket science but it's about becoming disciplined and patient now we're going to look at uh, whoops and actually this is the wrong slide here so uh, this is from another session so we'll give this slide a miss but before we go to the charts here's what we're and we're about to switch over and go to the charts here's what we do need to learn where are our pivot levels the prior days open high low and closed levels the major EMAs being the 89 and 200 the intraday swings in the high and the current days high and low all of these are simple once you've had them explained and thanks to um, really today's technology uh, your trading platforms will show you all of these automatically so as you'll see in a moment when I go to the chart you'll see we'll have this displayed automatically uh, plotting now these are what we call uh, plotting automatically on your charts all of these are, are uh, let's see here that's an indicator that's an indicator these are indicators these are indicators and we've got an indicator that will identify these points as well why are these important because they become support resistance levels let me actually show you live right now I may as well show you this live because this is ticking over uh, live on the market uh, right now now this for brand new traders may seem just like a haze of different indicators but it's actually very very simple when you know what you're looking at so up here this lime green color up there so this is midnight the market has just rolled over that lime color is the high of the trading session this magenta is the low of the trading session so remember I said we want to know where our days high is and where the low is why because it acts as a price magnet remember I mentioned we want to know where our 89 and 200 EMAs are here they are here and this is on the entry chart okay so I want to know about these not only on my entry chart but on the anchor chart so I've got my 89 and my 200 and a number of other um, simple um, EMAs which are trend directional indicators okay we want to know about those we want to learn about divergence <laughs> again I, I wasn't going to cover divergence here but I may as well here because we've got we call it um, uh, uh, well I call it a bet the farm setup you see you can have divergence as a reversal strategy for an example just here we had a classic uh, reversal divergence we had a higher high on price and we had a lower high it's only subtle on my zero lag MACD so that is a counter trend move this one here I call a bet the farm and by the way you've just got a divergence trade just here that's working away here a bet the farm is when I'm trading with the trend and I have divergence this is typically what it will look like price comes down pulls up we get divergence it can be either a higher high or a double top and I have divergence just here uh, and down here you've got a little double bottom now what we're not looking at in just here is what's happening also on the anchor charts but I did want to show you this see that blue line there that's called a pivot which we won't get into now but let me scroll down here here's your central pivot here's another pivot pivots are used by professionals I trade into pivots we trade the pivot bounces and they act as price magnets they're not uh, unlike many uh, um, indicators they're not lagging indicators they're predictive indicators they're leading indicators because uh, they're based on the prior day's price action and we use them we buy and sell into them 
so that's a pivot that white line and that black line the black line is the open of the session and the white line is the prior days close oh, and the cyan line up there you can see uh, the cyan line is the prior days high may sound like a mouthful to begin with but it's really quite simple once you see how we trade these okay and so uh, and here we call the different colors there the cloud sometimes I got the cloud on sometimes I don't um, so traders I just wanted to show you that because where you're after two hundred dollars a day now on the four tick here each one of these little step down see how they're stepping down that's worth ten dollars so effectively in a trading session you're after 20 steps to hit your two hundred dollars a day that's what you're after so uh, and if I get anything more of it sets up as I'm going through this I'll switch over and show you it's just good to sometimes see something uh, ticking away live so all of those things we're looking at oh and one thing I didn't point out there which we didn't have there was the swings now what do I mean by the intraday swings well see that here that's a swing high this is a swing low uh, that's a swing low and what you will usually find at these levels you'll get a bit of a bounce or price like up here uh, I don't look at that swing I look at the further a swing that the, the one that's furthest away which is there and we've got indicators that identify those for NT8 at least for other trading platforms it's really easy to to set them up okay or to identify those points let's get back to this so uh, all of these are, are important and really after a couple of hours of training you will pick those up so let's go to the charts and let me see here I think it's the lower one yes this is what we're looking at so on this particular day and let me just do this uh, just uh, where are we turn that off so on this particular day let me show you exactly what I identified and what I was looking at trading and and why I took the trade so first of all uh, here we are just back here back at midnight again so price is rallying up very nicely the blue cloud means I want to go long generally speaking when I've got the orange cloud I want to go short now as we come up and we notice the lime color here we're hit making making new highs so as I make new highs I'm also it's very subtle here I'm also getting some divergence set up now divergence or counter trend trading is something that new traders you want to stay right away from do not CT trade counter trend trade uh, just here you've got a 2b you've got a 34 you've got a 21 uh, here we're about to get I think uh, another 2 or a 3b initially you want to focus purely on trading with the trend you see you only need three or four trend trades a day to hit your target that's all you need now I love my CT trades but I've been trading for 28 years so I can see the pattern and even then I don't get it right every time but that's part of trading okay so as we're retracing here and let me go one tick at a time now see how we now pulling back now for members watching you had a t10 just there long-term stochastic is down there's your money on the floor trade but as we're coming down I've got a 200 EMA down here and I've also got support down here with the prior days close on this particular day and that was totally different from the one I was showing you a few minutes ago where we were live so as we're coming back or coming down always expect a bounce at these levels always okay and there it is just there now that white paint bar does not appear until now so now I've got a trade now I wasn't trading at that time so I wasn't in on that trade but that is a plain vanilla setup for me now what I'm after is what I call seven steps now you'll see that I always call these steps it just makes it easy for training but one two three four five six seven I would have easily got and by the way seven steps is my target now that's $70 per contract 
where I go for a larger step or a larger target is if I'm buying if I've got nothing in front of the trade if I've got a major magnet ahead if I've got a pivot ahead likewise I'll go for a smaller target if I'm just below or just above a major area like say if I was selling here I know that I've got a very very high probability I'm going to bounce so I'll get ready to take profits at this level now if I remember correctly after this this is when I then come in and start trading now as I'm pulling back here we're always anticipating a bounce why I'm in an uptrend and this is where then I entered this for five lots so I went long now what have I got in front of me here so up here I've got the that uh, cyan line that's the prior days high that makes an excellent price magnet so I come up and I get filled there and I'm out of this trade okay now what I do have and look I I should have actually gone for a little larger target because what I've got just above me here is the high of day so I should have targeted or gone gone for a larger target so there it popped up a few more ticks then it starts to come back down now I have a setup I call it a pivot magnet trader or one of my members um, uh, calls it uh, the t28 so you'll usually hear me use codes it just makes it a lot easier than using the actual name of the setup so just here uh, I think I've got a long trade here I've also got a slingshot setup and so this is a trade where I'll look at trading this into the high of day up here now I was actually about to go to break even that is as we trended up it you know, trended up that's terrible English as we're in this uptrend here uh, I entered just here uh, with five contracts and when I come up to a major area of support or resistance I like to get to break even very quickly okay because we can quite often bounce off those levels and get a reversal so if I'm selling or buying into an area of support or resistance um, I'm looking at getting to break even now sometimes that can be bad okay where uh, like here if I'd have gone here right gets a reversal it wouldn't have stopped me out but then it continues but I would prefer to miss out on a good winning trade than take a losing trade I want to get the cash registering I can always get back in now what actually happened I was about to go even up uh, to uh, even to break even and bang it went up there and hit my target like bang it was just incredible it was just, just spiked up now just here I had what we call a 2d now a 2d is where I have divergence on two time frames so let me just show you this on the anchor chart one whoops let me just um, perhaps minimize this so I actually use three charts I have what I call my anchor chart one and uh, sorry I've got my entry chart anchor chart one and anchor chart two and I'll just glance at those let me just stop this for a moment and let me ref yes there it is there so on the anchor chart it makes it a lot easier when you've got multiple screens uh, because I've got six screens here so I've got these are uh, the anchor chart one and anchor chart two up above so I can I clearly identify but see here how we've got a higher high and I've got a lower high just here that's a beautiful bit of divergence okay so just up here and I had some it's a lot more subtle just here but I've got divergence here as well so there's a trading rule that I use when we actually get we get a signal on the entry chart and we get a signal on the anchor chart thank you very much and down we come now I then get a bounce just here now when we have these major divergence trades quite often they will identify the change in trend so we've got to be very careful when you're trading against major divergence now when I say trading against it we've coming down after major divergence on a higher time frame and this is what I call a 2BD 
a 2bd means I've got a 2b I've got a double bounce and it's after divergence now I will quite often not take these trades so I decided to jump in and scalp this trade in fact I jumped in and I only ended up picking up two or three ticks so I scalped it got out uh, it then stalled for a moment and I for some reason I don't know why I well actually I, I thought it was going to continue okay I thought it was going to quickly spike remember this is the high of day up here so we love to go back up and retest the high so I jumped in went long and it reversed immediately okay and stopped me out now what I did here then was to take another trade short not long and this is what we call a money on the floor trade or a kaching trade it's a it's an old setup that's been around since it was when I was taught 20 odd years ago by someone they taught me this setup and see how we've got this little lower high and I've got a lower high on my anchor chart there so I got stopped out of that one I then quickly jumped in and shorted this particular trade okay and unfortunately I shorted it uh, and the reason I and I got out very very early out of this trade um, far too early uh, oh no no that's right I sold it down to the low sorry that's right remember correctly I sold it right down to here that's right down to uh, the what I call the pivot down here which is the close of yesterday um, and I'm just trying to think back the conditions I had that's right when I got to this area here notice how I bounce on the 200 and I bounce on the pivot and I had that reversal candle I was thinking what have I done I should have just taken profits there because you can always re-enter but I stayed with it and then it trended down it continued to the downside down to the um, uh, the open of the day and down to yesterday's close but in fact I, I really should have got out just here and re-entered just here that's what I would normally have done but I thought I'd go for a larger target in this case now getting back to then and then ex extending this then we had um, okay a couple of really nice now just here here was your next trade not there one of the things you've got to be very very careful of traders is here we had some entry signals that yes they actually would have gone through and given you potentially a few ticks you want to be very careful whenever you're selling or buying right at support or resistance excuse me what we can see there that's the open and yesterday's close and see how we just bounced around on that level there that is a real danger zone your next real trade was over here okay so traders it was still uh, a very successful uh, trading session uh, so it was you know a four not that was wrong okay that's the wrong slide there but it was six trades five wins all over in 15 minutes and that that's the other thing I just want to mention here in this particular case that time of day I'm trading a four tick Renko you can't trade that during the New York session you're going to be jumping up to an eight or even a 12 tick Renko all subject to the time frame okay so uh, and what that means is you're able to uh, have a lower account size so if you, okay so if you're trading five contracts here that's seventeen and a half thousand dollars but when you're trading a higher time frame you need to have a larger account size but you're going for um, per contract that is um, but you're going for a much larger profit target now I do have to show you this here so this divergence trade I told you about down here now just here you have no divergence we've hit the low of day you've got no divergence here okay you can see the divergence there see there you had no divergence here then we made the higher high now I've got the divergence here I've got no divergence price comes up comes back down if you had have entered there you would have been stopped out 
now or I would have been stopped because with this time frame I'm looking at putting my stop loss one tick above or one tick below generally speaking now I've got a double bottom okay so when we've got a double bottom like this we're generally going to target up here at the 89 EMA and bang there we go so I've got a deeper pullback for members watching look at your long-term stochastic and now you've got a slingshot uh, to the long side as we've got that right there so traders look trading is not rocket science it's about following a set of rules and the rules that I use are basically patterns in Mark Douglas's book for the great late Mark Douglas probably the greatest trading psychology um, psychologist there was or is um or, or even is currently he would say if you want to master the art of day trading find one or two patterns and I think he actually says one one that is visual based not mathematical based a pattern that you see visually that sets up in the market each day with the patterns I've just shown you and I've shown you a whole lot of different types of pattern we see these each and every day and I teach new members to focus on two patterns I call the 34B and the 2B and in fact you could just trade those the rest of your life and it doesn't matter which time frame or which market you trade they set up each and every day so traders um, uh, become a member uh, attend my live coaching session if you wish you can make inquiries and about joining my live trading room and come and join me for three live trading sessions a week as well uh, so traders $197 all of my indicators is dozens of videos indicators the whole lot there plus you can attend the coaching sessions all right traders thank you uh, this was session 74 and uh, I look forward to seeing you in session 75 thanks traders